Okay, so continuing on on how we can be better human beings, you know? Um, in every situation that I'm, you know, with my daughter, I always set an example for her, you know, the, of how to treat others, you know, to show them the kindness and the respect that they deserve, every single one of them that we meet, you know? And if there's a situation where there's a child that's crying or distressed or, you know, something's happened, I always send her in and say, see if you can help, if there's anything you can do, you know, because she always sees me doing that, you know, for others. And so I want her to get into the habit of what can I do? You know, how can I help someone else? And how can I improve their day? You know, that, let her little light shine. You know, it's so important that we learn to use that beautiful little spirit that we have inside that wants to interact with others. It's when we don't allow ourselves to interact with others. We don't allow ourselves to connect as human beings that all the problems arise, you know, that we feel lonely, that we feel separate, that we feel, you know, all these situations arise, this anger that comes along, you know, or this fear of being with others, you know? We may have been in a situation where we've been hurt before, okay? And there's so many songs about it, when your heart is broken and how you don't want to love again because you don't want your heart to be broken again. And I can tell you right now, your heart doesn't care, okay? <laughs> that's all the stuff going on up here in your head they're all the thoughts and all the things that you believe in that is stopping you from using your heart ever again your heart wants to love that's all it ever wants to do it doesn't know any different you're the one that stops it from doing its job you do just think about it think about it when we love it's when we are at our happiest love, when we let others in, when we're connected to those around us, we're really open and connected, is when we are our most joyful, you know, I was saying, okay, I haven't quite got to that place of peace yet, but I do know what it is, you know, I've had moments where I can sit for five or ten minutes of, of a morning, and I'm watching my six-year-old sleeping, and for me, in that time, all my thoughts stop because I'm just blown away at how incredibly beautiful she looks. And time stands still. Those 10 minutes feel like I've been sitting there for a whole day, <laughs> you know, just looking at her and thinking I'm so lucky and she is so beautiful. You know, when you're just blown away with something that's just so magnificent. And that's not the moments where she's looking at me and I can see her light shining through with love, you know? And I just feel like my heart's gonna explode with love. Those moments, they may be shorter moments, but when I'm in that moment and time stands still and nothing else exists, I know I'm at peace and I know what peace feels like. My problem with peace is, <laughs> It's not that often in the day that I feel it, and I think I need more of it. So that's just me. That's where I am in my life. I know what peace looks like. You know, I look back at moments with my dad, you know, when we're in those moments where we're just, I just love him so much, I feel like my heart's gonna explode. And he'd be looking at me the same way. He'd be looking at me like I was the most beautiful thing that he had ever seen. And I, somehow sensed, now that I have my daughter, I realized that's what he was thinking, you know, almost to the point where you're crying because you're just blown away, you know, that you brought this into the world and it's just exquisite, it's just breathtaking, it's beautiful, you know, and those moments as well in my childhood, time stood still when I was with my dad and we're in those moments of pure love for each other. You know, that's what we're here for, those moments. And it's up to us how many we create of those in our lifetime. It's up to us 
I can promise you, your heart may have been broken, but it's all up here. Your heart's still beating inside of you. You are still alive. You're still alive. You're still breathing. It's still beating. And all it wants to do is love. That's all your heart ever wants to do. It doesn't care how many times it gets broken. It doesn't care how many times it gets tossed aside. Your heart will never give up on wanting to be used for what it was designed for. It just wants to love our natural state we just want to love and when we're in that place of love and it's pure love there's nothing else going on you realize your thoughts just stop and you're in that moment and you're looking at this whatever it is that you it could be something in your garden and you just stop for a moment and you think oh my god that's the most beautiful whatever it is that you've ever seen and for that one moment you're witnessing you know this beautiful presence and you've stopped to look at it, to really look at it, to really take it in. Everything stops. You're looking at it with love. You're giving love for it. That's what living in the now is all about. The moments where you are most at love, most in love. And there's no thoughts going on. You realise that you're not thinking anything you might the first thought might be oh my god it's so beautiful and then you're just there like frozen stuck in that moment <laughs> it's just hard to explain but it's just overwhelming mm. I usually find if I'm in a moment where I'm emotionally overwhelmed oh the tears just come out for me it's like my heart's overflowed and <laughs> it's coming out of my eyes I can't help it <laughs> but um you know, the tears of, of joy, but that's how I always feel. I feel like my heart has just overflowed and it can't contain any more love for that moment. And it just comes out through tears, you know. That happens too sometimes. And there are also moments of true peace where I'm just blown away by a moment. I love you guys. Remember to click like and subscribe below so you don't miss any of the messages and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.